All right, Jim, thank you very much. A Texas man was bitten by a rattlesnake after the head was cut off. And a warning for uh, all of you, some of this uh, video you're about to see is graphic. The man was doing yard work with his wife when they spotted a four-foot snake. With a shovel, they were able to sever the snake's head, but moments later, when the man bent down to dispose of it, the snake's head bit him. He was then flown to a nearby hospital. A normal person that gets bit is going to get from anywhere from two to four doses of antivenom. He had to have 26 doses. Her husband is now in stable condition at the hospital, but his kidney function is still poor. Since we know many of you will be out working in your yards and hiking and exploring nature this summer, we spoke with Scott Paff, curator of herpetology at the Riverbank Zoo. That means he knows a lot about snakes and we wanted to know about the snake bites and what you should know if you should ever encounter these creatures. If you decapitate a snake and then pick up the head, it is fully capable of biting. If you puncture yourself with one of the snake's fangs, uh, then venom can be injected. It's universal for all reptiles uh, that if the animal is dead, the muscles can still contract for a period of time. It depends, it could be just a few minutes or it can be hours in certain cases. So the bottom line is Scott says, in order to remain safe, stay away and keep your distance.